Welcome back, everyone. The McDonald's Magic City Classics is one of the premier FCS games in the entire nation. Every year, Alabama A&M and Alabama State fans flock to Birmingham and create a massive party light atmosphere. Yeah, but this year's games would be hampered by weather conditions yes. as buckets of rain fell buckets. throughout the weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the Hornets and the Bulldogs not only had to battle themselves, but also battle the elements. But, hey, that's why they played a game. Heading into the contest yesterday, both teams still were in the hunt for the SWAC East Division crowd. Alabama A&M on the tag. Akil Glass hits Zabra and Moore and on the crossing pattern, he takes it 76 yards down to the one yard line. How do you get tripped up at the, at the one, one yard on. line? <laughs> All right, so very next play, Alabama A&M doesn't have a Ford. They don't have a Jaguar. They've got a Bentley. It's Jordan Bentley powering his way across the goal line. Seven to nothing, Bulldogs up on top. Later, Bulldogs coming up big on special teams. Marion Collins blocks the punt. Devin Booker. It's going to be all over that. Bulldogs now have great field position. But AM's drive would stall. Spencer Corey going to try for a 42 yard field goal. It's up and it would be no good, but Bulldogs still lead 7 to 0. Alabama State finally getting things going in the second quarter. Kadaris Davis hits Michael Jefferson on a 48 yard score and play. Look at him go. Ball game now tied at 7 apiece. All right, Alabama AM setting up in punt formation and things aren't just going to be great for Alabama A&M. Eric, I mean, the block punt right here, Eric Felt will scoop it and score it, and Alabama State now leads 14-7. to Hornets now on the move again uh, for the second time. It is Davis hooking up with Jefferson across the middle from 10 yards out. Halftime score, Alabama State was up 21-7. to but the second half was a brand new ball game because it stopped raining, man. Thank God. <laughs> Alabama a &M came out the locker room on fire. Jordan Bentley caps off a 11-yard play with a touchdown run. 21-14, ASU still up at this point. Fast forward to the fourth quarter. Keel Glass keeping it on the option. He scores from three yards out. 21-21 now. Ball game is tied, so we're going to overtime. Absolutely. In oh well, first of all, what do you think about Akil Glass running, running the option? And I, scoring? Right, and scoring. <laughs> all right, let's go to the first overtime, everyone. AM with the ball, and they give it to Jordan Bentley. He bounces it outside and he finds pay dirt. AM now leads 28 to 21. On that entire drive, nobody touched the ball but Jordan Bentley. <laughs> Now, Alabama State, they get the ball. It's Kadarius uh, Davis once again connecting this time with Tyreek Allen for a Hornets touchdown. That ties the ball game up at 28-28, so we're going to double overtime. Free football. Hornets get the ball first in the second overtime. Kadarius Davis fires it to the back of the end zone, and Jahad Booker comes down with a touchdown grab, 35-28 to Hornets. And you know, players saying that he didn't get in, but he did get in. Yeah, instant replay did show he did get a foot down. Okay, he did. Alabama a and facing third down now. Kill Glass, he rolls to his left, throws it up. Look how wide open Zayron Moore is in the end zone. Look at this. Man, he had <laughs> enough time to, like, take a nap and then go back to Huntsville, <laughs> come back. back. right? <laughs> So they tied the game at 35. We're going to a third overtime. As the cheerleaders are loving it. So here we go. It's all about Jordan Bentley throwing the screen pass out there, walking into the end zone right there. 200 all-purpose yards for Bentley on that play right there. So it makes it 41-35. to So now a and has got to go for two because we're in the third overtime. And who else but Bentley Four. once again up the middle. And them up 43 to 35. So Hornets need to score eight points to force a fourth overtime. They get six points here as Kadaris Davis hits Tyreek Allen across the middle for another touchdown. 43 to 41. So now they have to go for two if they want to go to a fourth overtime. Davis is going to throw it up to Allen. But Desmond Fletcher is there to knock it away, and Alabama A&M wins the 78th Magic City Classic in triple overtime. Oh. Final score, Alabama A&M 43, Alabama State 41. That's two in a row for the Bulldogs in this series. We knew coming out of halftime that we was going to have to play hard, harder than we did the first half, obviously. But we knew that we could make those plays as well. So coming in, we knew what we had to do. We knew we had to run the ball. But like Coach said, when we came out and saw the sun out, we knew that we were going to be able to throw the ball as well. And so whenever we started throwing the ball, it opened up the run. That's why we were able to accomplish what we did. You know, team 14 points down, come back and go in three overtimes. Uh, I mean, um, you know, I still think uh, once the weather, you know, kind of let up, uh, you know, it was still a show. It was still something that you can't, you know, can't leave until the end. I just wish that at the end of the show it would have been in our favor. But Some people, they don't care if we win homecoming, UNA, Grambling, Southern, they just want to win the Classic. And so, for those people, good. We want the Classic for y'all. But we got we got more business to do and take care of. Uh, you know, we're still in the race to, to represent the outside and the SWAC. 
and uh, get to the Celebration Bowl. So that's what we're looking forward to. We've got a big, big, big task ahead of us, ahead of us going down to uh, Southern. They play them. Uh, I don't know. I think it may be their homecoming. And uh, at their place, and it's hard to win down there. So we got to celebrate this win tonight. We got to get back, watch the film, learn from it, and get better and get ready to go down and take on a, a good, very good uh, Odom team. So, Mo, you were at that game, braving all the elements. Yes, I was. <laughs> Three overtimes. What's some of your takeaways from that game? Well, the AM was one dimensional early on, but. Coach Maynard giving a great halftime speech and then the Bulldogs digging deep and responding by actually showing up on offense. The passing attack by Akio Glass combined with that potent rushing attack by that guy, Jordan Bentley, started to wear down the Alabama State defense. And as you saw in overtime, majority of the Bulldogs plays went to Jordan Bentley with the exception of this Xavier Moore uh, score. But hey, Bentley was the decoy on that play right there. Now, last night's win was very, very important, not only because they won the Magic City Classic, because it it also keeps them in the hunt for the SWAC Eastern Division crown. So let's take a look at a very crucial stretch of games for Alabama A&M. If they win out, then they will win the East Division outright and play in the SWAC Championship game. Up next is a trip to Baton Rouge to take on the Southern Jags. Kickoff is set for 4 p.m. down in Louisiana's capital city. Yeah, you're all modern, Mo. Right? <laughs>